Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big, big. Check, check, check it. It's Unique House. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? None, none, you know, my dear. Walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But if you just type Boss Talk Podcast 101 in Google search and everything will pop up. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. <clears throat> Don't only subscribe. We're asking for your membership. OK, and how you do that is under each and every one of our videos in our description section. There's a link that say membership. Join it here. Click that link. Go ahead and join it. And we appreciate you and we love you and we thank you for the support. Um, we got a special guest in here today. Y'all about to get a treat, man. This guy right here don't need no introduction. Mm -hmm. This guy right here, man, this is the second time on the show too, man. And I've been, I, I get excited about this one because you know the Don come in. It's, it's time to get it going, man. <laughs> uh, Welcome back to Boss Talk 101. My boy Don Key is in the building. Look, Kiki, as y'all know it. Thank you for having me. I'm. It's, it's a special to be able to come to y'all building. You know what I'm saying? Y'all came and seen me last time. So the... Famous boss talk building. <laughs> yeah, all the time I'm like getting you, Is it like yeah, you thought yeah, it, 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 it was? Is, is it like, I mean, it's nice. you seen it online. I love effort. Yeah. I love effort. You know what I'm saying? I love anybody putting the effort into anything. It's beautiful. Man, I and just, you can see the growth. Yes, I can. Man, man, you know, the thing I look at, man, is that you one of them ones, man, I can interview you all day, every day. And you know when you call me, I said, nigga, you can't do no wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we going to do that. I'm like, nigga, you can't do no wrong. Yeah, I've been telling him, like, I've been telling him, let me go knock it down. I told him <laughs> five, six months I'm on way. Let me get it dead. Hey, man, thank you, man. Uh, so, I seen you, man, on, uh, uh, what, 50 Years in Hip Hop that Houston. Man, mm -hmm. that was dope, bro. Like, uh -huh. I liked the way Donnie Houston and, 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 and Bun, how did you feel about that? That was using that 90s part. Well, I, what's funny about that is I had a little joke that I told while I was on there because they had me on there with some of the great greats, um, Jay Prince and Captain Jack and all that. Steve. Hey, man, st yeah, that ain't my era right there. They're a little bit before. <laughs> so I'm like, man, y'all got me on this panel right here. But it was a great thing, you know what I'm saying, for us to, um, I mean, I didn't even know that a lot of our history was still there you know not just the active part you know just living in the city and it was a lot of faces even from Lester Sir Pace and just the people that I grew up in the game with so to be able to see our culture and you know I didn't think that the world represented the south with 50 years of hip-hop the way that um that we should but for us and we and we always take care of our own so for us to do it at home and get that type of response was great man y'all killed it too just to educate people you know how much education was in that room yeah it was so many dope you know moments that I seen just listening at everybody tell their story for what they represented during that time was heavy, man. Crazy. And then to see you, yeah, them niggas was a nigga. I should have been sitting up there with them niggas. I got the grade. <laughs> <laughs> I seen yeah, them. I'm like, I stood up at the end. I said, hey, hold on, hold on. I'll make this panel right here. <laughs> you know, I'm about 14 or 15 in this panel right here, man. So, but it was man. beautiful, man, to see all that. So, you have you worked with Mike Dean? You and Mike Dean yes, did some I stuff together? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I seen him in uh, Scarface when they did that 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 thing. What was that that little old thing where he did? Oh, Tiny's this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Explosive. I said, boy, that thing that was went crazy. crazy. Mike Dean the goat. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, real know, crazy with it. As I was far like as that. sounds and history, when people mm -hmm. say, "How he the goat?" Well, I mean, you know, like history, sound, been around, and for the still here and be still active and still looked at in this type of huge wave throughout the game. At first, man, when we were young, we were blessed to have him around our city and making music, but he's a worldwide uh, um, uh, big game player. So to have him in the building to be that was great. Man, you know, I just really looked at like like the way that it, that whole panel, when you look at Jay Prince told his story, d Rick Rick, Rick mm -hmm. Shop, you know, he talked about signing you and <laughs> uh, you and uh, was it Pat Pat? Pat? Yeah, yeah, like, like, how did that go down? That's a real deal. That's a real deal. Um, I was a rebel, you know, okay. <laughs> I'm young, I'm a kid, I'm running around, I'm getting it in. So <laughs> I actually had two deals on the table. I had one with Jam Down and then I had the other one where Rick was trying to, I actually had three because the the original people big time who did Pimp the Pen, the three in the morning, Russell, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, yeah. Russell, yeah. But Russell tried to sign me first. He felt like I should 
made that choice first coming from the pimp to pen and it would have been natural but at that time i was getting hot so i'm 18 19 years old i ran with the first dollars i seen which was jammed down there if i had to go back and change anything i wouldn't because they they really believed and we've done a lot but at that time d rick had booked a a plane ticket for me and fat pat to come to atlanta for him to try to sign us and i didn't make the plane <laughs> you was young. How old was you then? About 19, About 19 or 20. Shit, you lucky. You. <laughs> I didn't make the trip. So Pat went, you know what I'm saying? And at the time, he was trying to sign both of us, me and Fat Pat, together. So I ended up going with Jam Down. And um, <clears throat> long story short, Pat ended up going with Rick Shop. And that's how it all got started. Wow. So you and Pat, how was y'all's introduction, like you and him, when y'all first linked up and met? Um, Pat was an idol of mine in an infamous way. He was a myth to me because um, he's older than me. He's four or five years older than me. And I'm from a neighborhood with lots and lots and lots of boys. You know, we we, 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 we rapping with no shirts off, we tattoos, we selling rocks, we jumping gates, and we real, real. I just always explain, we kind of like the hot boys or something. It's a lot of, boys jump, yeah, a lot of boys jumping around. So Pat was a myth. He was the freestyle king at High Rollers. He was this big dude, such, such. I never really saw him, I just heard about him. But in my neighborhood, I was revered like, man, Kiki got that flow. He doing this here. He rap. I'm coming. So we, my neighborhood used to put the juice in the plug in my back to, I want Fat Pat. You know, I want that freestyle title and I want all that. So my first time meeting him, he shook me out of my boots. But because I was a kid, I met him at Screw House. But Screw introduced us in that particular frame. Yeah, this that little Kiki I've been telling you about. And this that Fat Pat that you've been hearing about. And. We got the introduction and then we just took it from there. Our first time ever meeting, we done a big screw tape. The wow. biggest song um that we probably ever done on screws called Funk on Your Mind. And this was a very big um screw tape anthem and still is to today. I'm talking about we got it on from the first time that we ever, ever seen each other. Went right into screw house, right in the wood room, got right on the mic and made a tape. First wow. time I ever seen it. That's crazy, man. Cause like I said, when you guys was going, you know, when all that was going down, man, that's like 90, 96, 95, right? Mm -hmm. 95. Mm -hmm. You guys, that music, that sound, that time in the 90s, man, I reflect back and it was stupid, bro, the way it was. But something that Steve, the guy on that panel, was saying is about how hard it was trying to come up being from the South and how they was looked at. You know, I always talk about that mm -hmm. from the East Coast, which East Coast didn't just do that to the South. They just was real. You know, they, they well, did to the West. The, um, they did to whoever. You know what I'm saying? We, we didn't have Def Jam and um, Universal. and one That wasn't on the corner. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't go downtown. Like, you know, they're... they're their introductions and their opportunities to get in the game with having, you know, they from hip hop, big DJs and um, big record companies and Russell sent, we didn't grow up like that. We really grew up with the, you know, started with the mixtapes and the screw tapes and out the trunk and out there. And, and it was, we got it the hard way. And I think that's what humbled us the most. And that's what made us become the legends that we are. That's why our fans and our people revere us so much because of how we had to come up. They remember these tapes and these sounds and these small clubs and what we were doing, traveling without the navigation and kissing babies. I used to tell people all the time, man, we used to drive four, five hours away. It wasn't no navigation. Turn, Turn right, right by the blue house. <laughs> and then when you get to my grandma's house, call me, we're going to over that. that I'm from that life so imagine that particular fan right there still seeing me and where I'm at today mm -hmm. they love to go in their pocket and give me $10 yeah. for something right now I stream my music because they remember me pulling to that small club and I'm still here and for me to have their daughters and their nieces and them to become fans 20 years later it's, it's great it's not too many places that can do that like wow. the South now, I see you. I you been amused and amazed. We, yeah, we, just, in, we in just, this hip hop mode. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Because you know, going back to the tiny desk um, when Scarface did that, I remember how everybody was like in so such a, awe of like, man, he went so hard. When you first heard it, how did you feel about it? Well, you know, that's 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 that wasn't as much as an awe to me as it was it. That's phase. That person right there, we see him about them at the manual rhythms and at the club. <laughs> and we, to, to we see that. You know what I'm saying? Like we get to see that particular person. Like me and Bum, we got a special coming out today actually after really? the Grammys. Um on channel eleven That's back the, home. Okay. to you. Um what is that? CBS mm -hmm. today. After the Grammys. Well thing that we done three generations of what? Really D, Bun B and me. And we were just explaining how, like, for me, being so away from the East Coast and not being connected to the West as we want to, these were my heroes. Yeah. Scarface, Bun B, 
So that particular person y'all seen on Tiny Desk, I've already studied that man. I call him on the phone, FaceTime if I know him. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So they, uh, y'all, y'all seeing something that we see. Face performed like that, he'll do that on his birthday party. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. had a band and be yeah. doing all. So it was great. And my, I was more enjoyed about to see the people who hadn't been able to just embrace him like right. that in so long. Exactly. And for him to be getting, I love when we get our flowers yeah. 20 and 30 years later. Yeah. It's very yeah. important. He, I, think, I think they needed to see that. Because niggas need to know. Yeah. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You know me from my side of it. Niggas yeah. need to know and understand and respect what's going down with <laughs> yeah. what Scarface can do. Yeah. And because a lot of times I think it was way underrated. I look at them top whatever list that w come out on the East and West, wherever, and I be really aggravated and upset because mm -hmm. certain people ain't on there or because it ain't merited to my perfection but that's all you know that's something to where we gotta we gotta create our own thing down here and i think that's the that's where i'm at with it yeah. pushing information up you that's know what beautiful. i mean that's because beautiful. if we don't do that then we're not doing ourselves justice right. you know yeah. what i'm saying we got the we, we got the technology we got the platforms and we just got to do the work and we love our own yeah that's for, for sure. sure texas for sure. texas was something different though you could all you could you could do it right here in texas been doing it right here in you texas you see what i'm saying like texas you could it Kiki could do whatever, sell how many, right here in Texas. Great. And, and great. a lot of people don't have that. The um, the Texas rap scene and just it allowed it it allowed us to have a, a very a great life, mm -hmm. you know, early. And I'm so glad that I was able to mature inside that game so I can really I, I'm living much, much better in my older days, in my old game than I wasn't at. The young little Kiki is a, a firecracker. It's up. I wouldn't change nothing. But being mature and able to last and survive the game and make it right here, it's easy as pie now. Now it's just rolling. Wow. Yeah, because the thing that I, um, I wanted to say about you that I've noticed, you know, just watching the way how you grind and you hustle, when I see a lot of legends, because I, I think of you as a legend, mm -hmm. and I think of other Houston legends, I see how they are sitting back and, you know, reaping the benefits from all the hard work that they've done before. And the way how you are, I know you're still reaping that benefit, but you still grinding like you still got shit <laughs> yeah, from yeah, back yeah. then. Nah, nah, they, nah. they sitting back and just chilling. <laughs> nah, I ain't and doing you no just, chilling. That, that's what I noticed about you. And I'm like, I think you're one of the only ones that I see that keep pushing out music consistently, keep doing a lot, you know? Well, I was just giving somebody an example about that yesterday, which was based on, um, I don't, I'm very blessed from a financial standpoint. Right. You know, and it's not just saying, because I always think I haven't missed anything that God got for me. I'm a spiritual person. I'm gonna get That's everything real. I'm supposed to get. So I don't make my music all the time from a money standpoint. I make my music to make sure that they're gonna do it again. Like when I do 25 summers, the goal is, are you gonna buy the next thing? When I did Legend, I knew that they was gonna love 25 summers based on the reaction that I got from Legend. So when I go into my music, I tell the the, the young artists this all the time, I'm not really worried about the stream, this, what it's gonna do. To, I'm gonna get it. The thing is keeping my fans excited about the next particular thing that I wanna do. I'm running a catalog game. I'm running it up. I'm doing what I need to do. And relevance is everything. You know, these samples that you hear knocking those down and chunk up the deuce and I'm a G and screw and I already up, want draped out. up and dripped. All these are my samples. And people tell me, man, Key, man, did, did, did such and such pay you on this and such and such? Hey man, Drake didn't pay me, Logic didn't pay me for samples. I didn't always get paid for samples, but my relevance, being here today, still being important, still getting booked, still dropping my music, still doing what I need to do, and um, still being called to come do a podcast interview. Y'all don't just want to interview anybody. So relevance is the most important thing, not always the money. The relevance is going to bring you the money. You mm -hmm. are dope because when you look at all of those samples, you, you've you been sampled more than any other artist, really, when it comes down to that screw phase. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's... What, it's something out there we don't even know about. I <laughs> think about that for thousands. We take like, them down. We take we take down thousands. Some That's me. Damn. <laughs> we take them down all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, and I. What's crazy is people call me to do features. And sometimes it'd be one that had been done 20 times. I'd be like, bro, you know they done done that one right there <laughs> by 10 times. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm the probably the most sampled artist in Texas, probably most of But like I say, man, people would think that get under my skin. And I, it doesn't, man. It, it plays a lot. Into, now, I'm older now. Now, I ain't going to let you get away with everything. I used to let you get away with it. But I'm still, and most important is relevance to me. Wow, man. Uh, so, Drake... 
he just you said I heard you say that he just said the yeah he just said he draped, just up, said, and dripped draped out. up dripped out and still got it right would you but see that's a testament if I tell people that's what we talking about the hard work people don't understand a lot of things that we're getting now opportunities hunting lands rodeos and all that it's behind not knowing publishing young not knowing about samples and not knowing all that like i might have missed all that money for them samples early and then 25 years later the biggest rapper in the game come pay me for something mm -hmm. he, he barely even sampled something i said he just said something i said draped up and dripped out i got logic i got booker t i got crown raw all these people are tapping into um, my music and sampling it and, and um, what else licensing it and all these different things and it's 20 years later and the best part about it I own it now wow so when they were sampling and doing all in the early I didn't you own it anyway own it. you know what I'm saying so now I'm reaping the benefits of the samples and the licensing and all that man I didn't crawl raw this year Booker T this year all type of logic you know um, like I just said so I get the opportunities later so that's what I'm saying. When you focus on the big game, which is staying relevant and having an opportunity to still keep going, the other things don't fall in place. Everything happens in God's time. Yeah. yeah. But when you're talking about staying relevant, what do you think about the music industry right now when you see a lot of people are, not say struggling, but the, the antics that they're doing to stay relevant in the music industry? What do you feel about that? Well, everybody is complaining about the streaming and how it goes and what. A, I got narratives to it. It's like this. They always said the gas price is up, right? Mm -hmm. Man, the gas price. Boy, they don't get none. You ain't got to get none. They got to drive. No, no, no. no, no. You, it, you would not go to jail for not getting no gas. <laughs> I'm going to go get something. I don't care if it's $5 a gallon because I got something to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with the streaming and the music game. It's so bad. They met. Let it alone. You don't have to listen to it, it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to go in that studio and waste that time, do them videos, do that content. All these people that's complaining about their streaming and making these, they still at it. I'm not even talking about the streaming part. I'm talking mainly about, because um, people always say it's not the talent that's in right now. It's how crazy you can go with your, your drama, the antics, like that sort of stuff. Because that's where people are going to be watching you. Well, for me... It's, it's always different phases of the game. The game go through different phases. Vinyl, uh, cassettes, CDs, streaming, content. It's all about can you survive it? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people doing a lot of antics and all that. Will they survive it? Will that be enough for you to continue? That that be my that thing. I, I don't care what it's been. I figured out a cassette. I didn't understand any of them. Yeah. I, didn't, I, don't, I remember cassettes stacked all up in the garage yeah. And, yeah. and people bootlegging them. I remember the CDs getting burned and bootlegged. Yeah. Now we got the stream and we don't understand that. Now we try, can you survive it? And the thing about it, the game ain't for everybody. No, it ain't. It might take you 20 years to figure out that that wasn't for you. Or it may take you 20 years to figure out the particular lane that you get in. It's a lot of rappers that should be managers. It's a lot of other people that, it's a lot of different other ways to make money in the game that people so... People are just, sometimes people tap into what they see, antics and this, that, but how long is the survival rate on that? Mm -hmm. Can you really win on it? Can you stay in that particular space? Me, man, I haven't really had to, I don't do that much talking. Like this park, I don't, no, because don't. I don't I don't have, it doesn't require me to have to survive off that. I'm extremely blessed in what I do now. I understand the game. I, I need to do more talking. You gotta come out, content, tell your story. But I haven't been able to do something like that and have to lean on it. Yeah. I've been blessed. And I tell people, when, in the, even in the podcast game, some of my partners, I tell them that wanna jump in, hey, be careful because sometimes you be compromising your character. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then when you get through with the podcast game, you wanna come back over here to the real mm -hmm. one. And most of us, we're gonna look at you based on on the character that you just got to right. driving yourself into for the last couple of years. So sometimes people, man, are jumping into things that might not be sustainable for their character and who they are. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep with it. I want to go back to the streaming part because there was a lot, like I said, I heard Snoop complaining about it. It was a lot of people, a lot of people that didn't feel like the music industry has been paying what it's supposed to pay in this phase. And so that's something that that a lot of artists and a lot of people complain about. You know what I mean? But you have a different take on it. Can you survive it? That, that That's just it. My whole thing is we have to be able to play the game until we get it figured out. It goes back to what I'm saying. Did you have cassettes figured out? 
Did you have CD? You didn't have any of that figured out, but you survived it. All they pay, and it goes back to what I'm saying. Like, if it's that much of pressure and 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 and, and stopping you from getting where you want to go, you don't have to do it. You don't. You don't have to do it. Like, you don't have to continue to get these beats, go in this studio, record. This is something that got to be in you in order. I heard y'all say the thing about Snoop. About, you know what I'm saying? Snoop is an OG. That's my guy. I love him. I think what he's saying is perfectly true of what he's saying. But here's the thing about it. It's not stopping him from doing it. No. This is a total game. Like, for instance, we're talking about the streaming. Well, we can complain about it and how much it's not doing and what it is, but take the rest of it from us, though. What about taking the Instagram from us, taking YouTube from us? All of it's a thing. Like, when I drop 25 Summers, it's not just about the album. It's about Honeyland, this particular show. I've done this here. It's a whole thing. So my whole thing is we're complaining about one side of the game of it, but it's connected to everything. I use Snoop for the same example, which is, Snoop may have made a great example of how we get losing on the streams, but if you turn around, Snoop is the biggest branded artist in the game. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Corona, this, that. I don't Everything. care. Everything. Commercials, what you, this what nigga. You do, what Martha you, Stewart, this whatever nigga. Whatever you can think of. So my whole thing is favor ain't foul. Yeah, yeah. And the streaming part of it is just one part of it. It takes more than that. It takes the content. It takes the posting. It takes the music. It ta it's an overall thing. And if you outwork the process, that's what I do. I outwork the process. I do so much work to whatever you cheat me on, you out there eventually tell me the truth. Because <laughs> I'm going to outwork the process. I'm not going to have less work than you can out cheat me for. I'm going to have more work that you're going to have to come clean about. And one thing about it, I'm going to own mine. <laughs> I'm going to own mine. So you're going to eventually have to tell me the truth. So I don't have a lot of streaming complaints because my favor and where I'm at, it's about favor. I'm not watching the numbers from that type of way. The album brings this. The album gives me a chance to go to Boss Talk. The album gives me a chance to go on the, um, do the rodeo and yep. come out. The yep. album gives me a chance to rap in front of 25,000 with Jesus. The album gives me a chance to get the sponsorships and the, I, I got my own ice cream flavor. I got my own beer. I got my own clothing line. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing. So it goes back to some of the artists that complain it. This ain't even for you. I did see Jeezy down there. You just mentioned that. Beautiful. We had a beautiful what the, hell? the snow what? fest. Yeah, what, what was, how did that come together? Explain that to me. Jeezy, man, I think Jeezy is a part of our city just like he's a part of yeah. Detroit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He come a lot. He's a gang, he's a street cat. We love him. So he just left yeah. a few weeks ago, but in, no Dope. in November we had him for the snow fest. It was real big. So like, I seen him. I, yeah. I didn't, I was like, damn, he was down there? You know, yeah. it hit you like that on that internet. Yeah. You know, I'm old. I ain't going too many places. But I said, damn, Jesus down there, they're kicking it. Yeah. But it, it's something that, that you figured out, though. You know how to, uh, uh, you know, launch a project, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to launch a project, man, like you do, the way you lay it, the way you lay it out, that's a, that's a gift, bro. Everybody not able to do that. Some people are doing it you know, to, to the best of their ability on the independent level. You, for some reason, it looks different. I've told a lot of people this. You hear me say it a lot. Mm -hmm. When Kiki, when that nigga launched something now, it's like a whole, like he under some type of a label or something. Well, the thing is about it, people would think that that's related to a financial thing. No, that's effort. God gonna bless your effort. Like, like I'm not all the the the. I tell people this is not as easy. As spend forty thousand, drop it. 80,000 come back. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It's not that simple. But I put up, man, me and Slim, then we be laughing all the time when I let him hear my rage. Tell him, man, you be doing them professional albums. <laughs> I be, and I be, he laughs when I tell him, man, I just be trying to get God to see that I really do. I'm really working. You plan your seed. I'm really trying to, so he can, you know, and I'm, I'm still like, harvest. Mindset is everything. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So my mindset, so when I do a rollout, you know, from from the cars to the uh, to the albums to the content and pieces. I'm just, hey man, it goes back to, hey man, at this particular age, for you to be still tapped into anything that I do, I want you to know that I'm very appreciative and grateful. So I'm gonna put out some effort in order to make you like. I don't. I'm not sad when I'm getting ready to do a release because I know I got the vibe and I got the energy of my fans. They gonna tap in. They definitely gonna tap in. How old were you when you um? really tapped into your spirituality and what caused you to my mom very spiritual even with me being i've been i've been off the porch a long time right you know what i'm saying like i'm off the porch so what i just i'm just a guy that 
I got a wild spiritual mindset. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it, I got more deep into it as I got kids and I, I and as I got a little older. But I, I always had that in me because I understand life. I understand small things that, you know, this is just not everything that I've got done and everything that I do is no type of way that I do all that on my own. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to get to the small, <laughs> hey, man, I be tell, when I'm explaining this to somebody young, I may hit them with something crazy. Yeah. I may tell them something like, Man, it's the sun up there right there. You know, he comes out in the morning and it's bright and it's shiny. And, you know, it's a moon. I, I seen that moon in Dallas. I seen it in Japan. Uh, anywhere I've been, when I look up at the sky, I see that moon. Who put that there? Mm-hmm. Mm. A scientist? A man drove that up there? I be asking questions like that. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, that sun that we watching every morning that go up and come back. Da, 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 it, who got it there? A scientist? <laughs> Man, you because know, the reason so, why I asked that question so is like you know, that. no, I agree. Because you know how we all, you know, not everybody, but a lot of people, you know, their mom did put that in them. But to get it for your own, because you always have that foundation. But when we get older, when we hit that road bump and whatever, we tend to turn to him, and sometimes don't turn back because of something that happened. You know what I mean? So, and with age comes wisdom too. Uh-huh. You know, you know that every time when you you get closer to God, you know something coming around the corner that's going to really try to hit you down. Faith is everything for me. And mm-hmm. my faith don't waver. And what I don't try to do, I don't play the preacher game. Like, I'm not trying to waver your faith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever you decide that you want to be, I'm just letting you know you can't waver mine. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with, with drink and drink. I ain't drunk, served, drank none of that in 15 years. Right. Straight, fl- I'm not on the microphone talking everybody out of it and talking. Uh-uh. That's a decision you have to. Now, if you my partner in my family, you come ask me, I'm going to tell you the repercussions and what I think. Uh-huh. But I'm not playing the one on the microphone to the youngster. Put that cup down. Da, da. I can have that conversation because I'm not. A, I, I'm from the particular life, but I'm very deep and stiff into what I believe. And it's the same thing with spiritual like that same thing with that cup. When I put that cup down, I had to do that for me. You know what I'm saying? And make that decision. So it ain't something that I'm blasting and making somebody else do. Same thing with spiritual. You have to, you know, I own God, God, God all day to everybody. It ain't something that everybody want to accept. But I, I, if you know me and you're around what I do, you're going to hear it. How yeah. much did it help you with when it, when you lost your mom? Man, listen, it was it helped me because my mom is so spiritual. You know what I'm saying? I was I, you'll never be prepared for that moment. Never. But I was able to understand the moment a lot much more. I'm the leader of my family. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, in more ways than one, not from a financial standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from an everything standpoint. So, based on the role that I had to play in my family, I had to use that pain and do what I had to do to still stand up. Cause I'm telling you, man, my mom passed on a Friday. I was back to one, being who I had to be Monday. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They didn't let me make it. Hey man, listen, the people who get paid and get their checks in the bill, they was ready Monday. Mama died Friday. They ready Monday. And I understand that. So it takes a great spiritual mindset in order to be able to accept that and not, you know, my mental game is everything. Let me, let me ask you about, cause you, you had a, some, some heck of a hills to climb. Big, big pokey, man. We we got to talk about that. You know, mm-hmm. like when that happened, you know, in the way that it happened and just it was a crazy time, man. And I knew then I hit you up, you know, text you, man, you good, you know. And, and I know everybody does that. So I was almost hesitant to do it. I'm be real with you. That's how I be thinking. Like, man, let that man, you know, a lot right. of, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just a tough time for everybody. I know. Where was you at when you found out that that had happened? Man, I actually was at, man, listen, one of my little homeboys... That um, I ain't saying little homeboys. I'm tripping. My homeboy, <laughs> one of my homeboys that be um, kind of traveling with Pokey. You know what I'm saying? Like he like he kind of traveled big third, but they go out with Pokey. You know what I'm saying? When Pokey do a show, they was out at a show. I was on the telephone at home. He called me, and it was midnight. And I just didn't answer because sometimes I was thinking they sometimes they be in the club. They want to let me hear. The song in the back, man, they jamming you yeah. right now. Yeah, I, I, thought, I, I, I thought it was one of them. So I'm like, man, he called right back. But I was on the telephone. I'm like, man, hold on, let me see. So he was, he called me and he, and listen, this was a three part call. One call is, man, key, man. I'm, me and Poke is so close mm-hmm. to, I'm the first person that he thought to call. Mm-hmm. He don't even know to call his wife yet. He, yeah. I'm the first person he think to call. So, his first call was, man, big boy, 
just fell out. So, based on me knowing Big Boy, based on everything that I know, and based on I just seen him earlier, we both, I mean, um, we both had shows. You know what I'm saying? We both had show. We had an early show in the daytime where I seen him in passing. Me coming down the stage, I mean, him coming off the stage, me going up. Based on how he was looking when I seen him, when my homie told me that he fell out, I still wasn't alarmed. I was just like, man, Big Boy done got up here and tripped out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 15 minutes later, the the next call was Big Boy done fell out. He had the hospital. He unresponsive. Wow. That's, num- that's call two. How so, far apart was those calls? 10 minutes. Okay. Five, ten minutes. Ten minutes later, unresponsive. Mm-hmm. That's when they're trying to get me to go on get wifey and get everything together. So the next call was boom. You go. Ten minutes apart, just like that. Hey, he just fell out. Ten minutes later, he unresponsive. Ten minutes later, he gone. In a 30 minute run, just like that. And you say you had saw him earlier when you were at crossing. Yeah, How did he thing. look we, when you were Well, the thing about it. If you know Big Boy, he's a heavy sweater. Mm-hmm. He sweat real, real, real hard. So as he was coming down, the particular show that he was getting ready to go do, the second show, was a show that I did before. Kind of strenuous show. A lot of walking, up a lot of stairs. So, so, so even before I saw him, not from a passing standpoint, I told somebody that was around me, man, I don't think Big Boy's going to finish that show. Not from a standpoint like he's not going to finish it physically. Right. Like he's going to say, man, hey, I got enough. Yeah. And I'm done. So... When I came down the stairs, it was very hot. It was a Houston day. It was one of those Houston days. It was 100 degrees wow. outside. Mm-hmm. So when I seen him, he was pouring in sweat. He didn't even want to hug me. I got ready to hug me. He was like, man, I'm wet. I'm going to call you in a minute. But I thought he was going to be okay because I talked to him about 15 minutes later after that in the car. When I got through performing, I called him on the phone and we talked. So when they told me he fell out, I just pictured coming off the stage, man. Big From boy the probably was drained. Like mm-hmm. yeah, then yeah, yeah. he had to go right back down yeah. and do mm-hmm. something. So, so. And I was already on, man, damn, I knew Big Boy wasn't going to be able to do it. Yeah. But I didn't think that it was going to be that. Escalated you know? to that. Yeah. yeah. And man, that's like one of my best friends. I know. You know what I'm saying? So, to do my mom, and you know, I had kind of just got back in work mode. 25 right, summers and and then boom. My mom was New Year's Day. He was Father's Day. So, them two holidays was wild. You know what I'm saying? So in that we just completed the one year anniversary for my mom and coming up on poking. We're gonna get ready to drop his album. Get ready to yeah, waiting on that. So so you you guys he had a book of work that was ready to go. He had so enough I'm, to okay. get it to do what we're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? We had to add a little bit, do a little bit more, you know, but I wanted to at first we was trying to I was trying to I, we was all grieving. We was all in it. But I was trying to get it out a little earlier because I understand business. And which what I mean by that is he passed in um, in May. I was trying to get it out for September because I understood the vibe of what was happening. Mm-hmm. People that was going to post this and help this and donate this here, they were all in the emotions of it. Mm-hmm. And that was going to be very important. You know what I'm saying? Now, man, you know, we got to get ready to build this thing back up, put it back up. And same person that probably had $1,000 to do something in May, they got 200 now. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. a business person. So, I, But we didn't get the... That didn't get the um, manifest. We didn't get ready to do it. So now they gave him his own day in the city, which is a big day in our yeah, city, June yeah. 27th. And that was already a screw holiday. So for them to kind of attach that with Pope, we're going to kind of drop his album around there and make it a whole vibe. It's already really real big in the city yeah, around that yeah. time. So we just decided. And man, at the time we was deciding that that ain't what I really wanted to do. But we look up and it's already three, two, three months from there. Mm, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So time rolls real fast. Wow, man. And, you, you, and, and just to think about just... The, when you would start floating those videos through all of the memories, I watched yeah. all of those, man. Just like, dang, man. You, I seen a lot of stuff you probably wouldn't even put out until, you know, this here yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. And I and I felt that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm watching to see what you're going to put out next because I'm like, y'all had a lot of, you know, a lot of times together. Man, me and this man talk five, six, seven times a day, seven days a week. House, kids, graduations, get on the plane, food, Bob, whatever you could think. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we got times after times after times. What was the last music video y'all did together? For my, for me, for the cipher, from show 25, for twenty five songs. Yep, yep. Man, 25 you know I be working. So. They ain't show was. <laughs> I got show him on was. a new album. I, that, yeah. I still got something. Yeah, on Twitter, yeah. on, on Kane Rain Forever, I got him on here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I be, you know, so I just watched that one too early because I, I, you know, they they locked my boy up. You know me and. 
Hot, Hot Boy, Boy West. They, 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 they gave him some. They gave him 15, 15 years. years. And he was on that on that video. I was like, man. I mean, when I, I'm watching for you, just the research, he popped up. I was like, dang, I just said post something about it. I, I just, that was whole heartbreaking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because my thing is, man, I, it seemed like the the new young rappers go to jail way more than we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we went. yeah, yeah. We ain't go to jail that no, 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 no. But the, well. you know why? Because the temptations and everything is much, much more different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I called the phone the TV. That TV... Well, when you turn that TV on, that TV rolling, and that TV got so much false hope. Yeah, so many, Influence. so many, so many false influences that it's doing, and it's so like some of the th- hey man, it it them have you have the fuck it attitude real mm-hmm, fast. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that, you know, you shouldn't be smoking on this paper, you know, you shouldn't be doing this here, you know, you gotta put that pistol. Up. It just have you with so much, you know, false energy about yourself. So I hated that form because you know, man, fifteen here is fifteen here. Mm. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Serious. You know it's what serious because so, you gonna, Does you he have gonna to do the full fifteen. Yeah. Nah, but, nah, but it's gonna get up there. It's, it's half, you know, he can't see parole to half. Half you know is gone, saying, yeah. And then he got a, he already had a record before that, so they And he did time that. before. Mm. Oh, he said it on here. He yeah. at the time thing, he he said he did, tw- he 27, he had did 11 years. He's 27 years old. Oh, my God. He already had did 11. So we've he, been going, and we've been going in the penitentiary, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, um, I've been going with Boss I Man Brewster. I seen that. I loved it, bro. You remember I hit you up? Because so, you know that's. Boss Man Brewster. Come on, man. Something. Mm. Come on, man! How was that when you went in there, what? man? Listen, you and you hey, rap, you rapped in that thing. Listen, y'all don't yeah. understand. I'll be a guest in here. <laughs> Boss man, Bruce is demanded here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, but for real, what it get? What I get out of it is, um, I always tell them about it. I, I get a great gen because, man, when you growing up and you in this game and you rapping, even in the streets, the guys be out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. A lot of time. You know, you got to either be from that life to understand. You got to either been down there. And sometimes if you ain't been down there from that life, you don't got to understand. They'll be out of sight, out of mind. So for me getting to go back in, touch, hug, and feel, I feel so good, man, because of all the times that I missed that I didn't get to really be little Kiki or touch back or give back to them. Like, I've always sent $50 down. There, oh, yeah, uh, we going to do that. We're going to do that. But I'm saying me actually getting to get in there and get in That's a great thing. And, man, listen, man. I'm gonna tell people now, right? Brewster is not in here on that trucking. That's that's that. Uh, if we had to put a pie up, the trucking is only ten percent of what we talk. He talking about in there. That reform and getting yourself prepared while you in here to get ready. to Hey man, he's very articulate and thing. And so it's it's a very delightful thing for me to be able to go see. I'm on. I, I love I, it. No, because okay, so with the reform, the part that I was always wondering, because you know how. I've always heard that when guys are in there, they talk big about, okay, when I come out, I'm going to change, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, whatever. How much do y'all follow up with th- those people to, to make sure that they be, because sometimes the temptation is hard when they come back out, they just go back to doing whatever they do, they used to do. The percentage of it ain't great. You know, like, that's in anything. You know what I'm saying? That's in anything. But, you know what I tell, what I tell Brewster, um, I told him this. I was like, man, you know what? The job I already done. He saved himself. Mm-hmm. Anything after that is a plus. Mm-hmm. If one person get their CDL, if they turn the wheel on the truck, went down the thing, if they paid their probe, any any of that is a plus because the first example is himself right. coming out, changing his whole particular life based on he used to be. That's why when they doing these truck arguments and all that, I be telling her, I don't know why y'all talking. About, he not ready to the job done. He didn't save Brewster. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he wasn't in there thinking about coming out saving no 10, 15, 20, 25 people, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're right. It's a it's a it's a mindset. And I tell you, man, you have to want it. Like you you have to like I don't out of if I got fifty pot if I got twenty partners that got out coming along like maybe fifteen went back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just a it's a it's a revolving door, but as things get better, I think we got a better chance at it now because the entrepreneurial game and the way you can live off, you know, your telephone and the the, the assets that you have to so many different things, content. It's so many different ways, ways to, to make, make a money. living now. Right. Based on what back in the game you only mm-hmm. could go work, work this way, right this, or go work for somebody. So I think that we're gonna get more of them because the opportunity man, I've got guys that's coming home that's already getting on content shows and and doing different things and writing books and you know I think the game is much better so just think about writing a book long time ago 
and Jay, you want to write a book. Now you want to write. You got all kinds of opportunities to publish that book and mm-hmm. put it on Instagram. So I think, man, it's, it, it'll it'll be a lot more. The percentage will be better of the change based on what we had in life. How did you feel when you seen those guys? They, they face had to light up. You know, look, Kiki is in in yeah. in the building. Uh, and that's go for the officers too, because we dealing with a legend here today. This nigga is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And listen, we we hit the road. We 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 going and we going in the trench. We all dying on death. We yeah. we, in, we on the wings. Yeah, and we, we, yeah. You know, we you know we had the um, the G fives out. Yeah, and they loved it. I know they yeah, loved yeah. it. Yeah. And listen, Man, you gotta t- realize that's that's big, bro. Let me tell you something. We went to one that had a, a lady warden. Mm. Listen what I tell you. We from the hood. When you hear the word warden, we think about a big old cowboy yeah, white yeah, man yeah, with some yeah. boots on <laughs> yeah, talking. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. So to see this lady and to see her in control and these now, you know, gangsters gonna be gangsters. But man, she had the G fives out. She had, yeah, man. Big respect. So for me, man, that was great. What yeah, ethnicity was she? Black. Really? Black Hell in it. Hell in it. Wow. Yeah, I'm talking about. Black as me. <laughs> Black as me. <laughs> beautiful, man. It was beautiful thing. I was like, whoa. Because, you know, man, you growing up, man, you thinking about a uh, warden. Hey, man, this is a man with a big old belt buckle. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. pink. Yeah. Big old hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That nigga, dip, he dip, he spit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to see that. KK, and, um, who is KK? And yeah. we're talking that man, listen, I'm busting raps all in the. In the I in seen the, that. In the, in the, we was at the church. Okay. <laughs> I seen you. I was like, man, they told me we at the church. I'm like, man, Did I they tell go. you not to rap? No, nah, they wanted me to rap. Mm. They wanted you to go on that, and you a cappella that thing. Man, let me tell you something. Bruce and them be messing over me. I be going to go watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna get a rap out of me every time I come up in there. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, I really, man, I come out of, and you know what feels most great? I don't want a dollar. Mm-hmm. That's real. That's real. I don't want nothing. No, that's real. <laughs> Not a thing. This that blessing right there. You can't pay me for it. So it's great. Mm. Was there a touching story or a touching um, situation that you came across when you were in there? Lots of them. Yeah. Give me one example. Hey, man, these are the touching stories when 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 they telling you. When you when they telling you they didn't did thirty five on a forty, when they telling you I'm forty I'm forty eight I've been here since I'm sixteen yeah mm. yeah yeah that, that, that's, that's touching real. that's touching, touching enough. enough. Hey man, we had one. I can't. I may got the numbers a little confused, but a number like that, like a hey man, I got a forty and I've been in here thirty five on it. Ooh. Numbers like that, so yeah, you know it's, yeah. it's it's real, man. And, and, and what that shows the test, man. You can get lost in that. Yeah. And then let me tell you something. We went in there, and got on the radio, touched the whole every prisoner. Hey, man. We listen. I keep telling y'all, Bruce to the man. He got you in there. You in there walking around? There. Yeah. We went in the way, so it was. It, it, I've had a cup. And let me tell. You, I will tell you what's crazy. This. Let me show you the irony. The first time I ever visit somebody in the penitentiary in my life, scared shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? I went to, I thought they were gonna keep me in there. I've been, <laughs> been so bad all my life, I'm like, boy, what I get is they gonna keep me from some <laughs> old. Let me go. So it was going, it was the Polanski unit. Yeah. That's the first time I went and seen one of my homeboys. He got life. And um, I went and seen him. This was years, years ago. And my first time ever going back was to the same unit. Wow. Mm. With Brewster. When I, when I when I when I it was the 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 only two times I had ever been to, the, to a prison was boom and then years later again and this time I was oh and let me tell you I was in the prison and one of my homeboys that been in there about seventeen years popped out of there for my neighborhood I'm talking about went through hell didn't care was about to get himself in what he say we hugged for about twenty minutes oh <laughs> man that's beautiful bro this was crazy you didn't know he was there at that I night. didn't know he was there at all he knew you was coming man he man, was listen, happy to see you when man. they what boy hey, when they told me what he went through to get over there he told me <laughs> man whatever I don't care what kind of lockup it was gonna be today. <laughs> And, and so those experiences is crazy, man, yeah. man. That's and like I said, man, Kiki, man, you you, you can't ever. That's something you can't take away, mm-hmm. take away, man. Mm-hmm. That's something that is is priceless, really priceless, bro. You know what I'm saying? So what? I got to get back to the music a okay. little bit. You did steal with my boy Slim Thug. Mm-hmm. That was the last feature y'all mm-hmm. just did together. How was that? And and how did y'all even say, hey, we gonna do this steal? Right? Slim cheating. As usual, he, he'll do. He'll just throw something out there. He don't really have he no rhyme or reason. 
we talk a lot about the game. We do a lot of work together. So it's like got, he just doing it. We got <laughs> no. we got a lot of different views. What I mean by he cheating there, that was some songs for the movie. You know what I'm saying? Why he got the movie? Hey, we need a couple songs for the movie. I done it. I'm keeping this one here. You know what I'm saying? You, I got one over there. So man, listen, I'm a um. It's always one thing about it, man. It's always an honor and a pleasure to do something. Not because of how big he is. Not because of what he he support everybody. Yeah. Hey, man, it's seven parties in the city. We all some. He got the biggest platform with the posting and all that, so it's important, you know, he's important to have around. But listen, that don't have nothing to do with it. If it's seven parties in the city in a week, he all seven. Wow. wow. I don't care if you look, he keep all wild propane. He's gonna make all seven, unless he's somewhere. If he in town, he gonna touch everything. From the north to the south From side. the north to the south. So my whole thing is, anytime that he, he don't have, me and him do a lot of work in anything he ever asked me to, and that's just, I got him on the new album. Anything you ask him to do, he gonna do it. So I never turn him down for nothing. Man, the verses is smooth too. You coming that thing, man. Yours sound almost like you be singing. You come through singing and rapping, <laughs> nigga. I be like this nigga there, man. I I get caught up in it, bro. Like man, man I really, really, I really, really appreciate it, bro. Nah. Keep that music coming, nigga. Do not slow down. No, nah, I'm on that you music. I'm on that music. I'm, Do on, not slow I'm down. on a mission. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a particular goal that I'm after with this music, and um, I got I want in the next two or three years. You know, I want to. I want to run that catalog up to about 75 titles. Mm -hmm. I interviewed Bun B and his... Uh, I was just about to say Yeah, Bun, you came up on the interview because... He, I had he, to ask he a question. No, about yeah. the Super Bowl, I asked a question. <laughs> if he was supposed to do halftime Super Bowl, um, who would he bring on? And you know him. You know, Queenie, he said, Queenie, yeah, he said it's her, her choice. You know, the first name come out of Queenie Mouth <laughs> is Lil Kiki. <laughs> and yeah, Bob was like, like you know, Bob said, no, that's cheating. That's cheating. That's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that's your brother right now. That's, that's your brother. That's so, that's so, so, I mean, how did, I mean, did you know that she was a fan like this other I music I knew Queenie before on? mine. Okay. So she always loved the music. Man, I, Queenie been big sister. How did y'all meet? Queenie from outside of town. I've been okay. I've been knowing Queenie since I'm 14, 15. You know, oh, okay. You know, she she OG sister. Oh, you know really? what I'm I knew her before Bun. You know what I'm saying? Like, for okay. real. You know what I'm saying? Like, my 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 partners and Aunt Nicole and the Pooch and them, they grew up with Queenie older than me. You know, they grew they grew up with, yeah, Queenie big sis for real. So I knew her before Bun. So she really holding down her side of town. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm dumb. I ain't realize what's going on. Being played. Right. That's why he said you cheating. <laughs> like, no, you can't do that. Because it's nah. really like, yeah, nigga, that's what we, we go right. Hey, listen, <laughs> when we at the rodeo, we whatever, we honey land, when that south side come up, pfft, it's, up. it's up. Queen rocking. <laughs> hey, you talk, know that. You talk about the rodeo, you know, the rodeo, you know, bum preparing for that rodeo again. What can we expect from you? Because I know you're going to have to we be, don't you know, gonna, right? gonna be Well, up. listen, let me just be biased with this. I don't care how many more bun, rodeos bun do, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna do 75 more <laughs> if they ask me God allowed. That first one, we killed it. I know, I was there the next day, and I ain't get to, I, You I don't really think killed. it's gonna be the same? What? <laughs> I don't Are care if they put, better? I don't care if they put ninety five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna be like that. Nah, but listen, I tell people this with it, man. Listen, from the Trio Burger to the rodeo. These are the flowers he deserves. Mm -hmm. Wow. He been through hell like us. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, this ain't always been peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? Like, so people are with, how is the trio burger? Great. Great. <laughs> it can't be nothing else. Great. That was, don't ask me. <laughs> you know, because, <laughs> hey, bro, when I bite it, I, I see a thousand more things. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket full of stones. What? <laughs> we see everything. <laughs> pimp, the pimp, everything. Jive them contacts. Hey, well, yeah. I'm trying to stay down. <laughs> it tastes beautiful to me. You know what I'm saying? So, I saw Slim did um, a post the other day. He got home because he had a he <laughs> had a burger in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed yeah, so but hard. see, we want to tell people the favor that we getting from. You know, like I be trying to get this explained to the youngsters. Because you know, sometime in the city, the young, they might think we getting all the love. Man, they getting everything. Bro, we went through all the hell. Right. These is, yeah, <laughs> these is yeah. the reaping of the benefits getting to, hey, we didn't always get to be with the, the Arlers and the Astros and the Rockets. And so for us to become 
legends and getting to be a part of the social scene in the city and everything. And what the youngsters don't know, it's coming for y'all too. Yeah, mm-hmm. That yeah. same torture work that you're going to have to hold on, such a, it's coming. So for us, man, I think we're really flourishing in the work that we put in. So not the work. People always think, the hell, yeah. the nose, the, hey man, let me tell you something. I've had a thousand times to quit. Be able to quit, if, you know, based on how it's going. Try something else. That's a, hey, man, I've wrapped my way out of everything. Everything. But even the stage that you're at now, how, do you still hear a no every now and again? Yeah. Motivation. Yeah, we hear. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Because people look at y'all like, who will tell little Kiki no? Yeah, we get no's all Hey, listen, the thing about it is, it's just that I'm better about perceiving it now, mm-hmm. re- at being receptive to it. You know what I'm saying? Like younger, you know, you getting them nose and it's it's you got bitterness and yeah. Hey man, I, I because let me tell you why because I have to say no. Mm-hmm. So I understand no because I have to say no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes and and no ain't always easy, man. Because let me tell you something. I got people who hold been holding grudges since the kindergarten. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I think sometimes. It's easier for them to let your let your grudge go based on how you doing. When you ain't really doing that, they don't even got that grudge. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. When you got something going on, we holding. Or it can go vice versa. You can be doing well, and we'll let the grudge go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you got some that I'm a hold that grudge again because you ain't got nothing going on. Mm. So it can go both ways. Man, you like like man, listen, man. I'm gonna be real with you, man. I. I remember the day I had Mr. Lee in here. I was saying, man, I got to get Kiki here, man. I'm so damn happy today. You don't understand, man. It's something I can't express it. You know what I'm <laughs> saying, man? Because I, cause I got a love for you, man. And it's it, like I said, Texas is something different for me, bro. Like, because I've seen the grind. I love I lived, what you do with all that. You know what I'm saying? I love what you do for Texas, bringing in Mr. Lee's, the comedians, and all that. Man. Hey, boy, you was the one telling me about the, com- the comedian one? games. It's going crazy. Them <laughs> niggas is beefing harder than the Cat Williams. He just showed you. Now I started it. You got real. I was doing that way before. You know, before I bring the comedian when Shannon got Cat, it just blew up even more. But mm-hmm. I already knew. I'm like this. These niggas is not like they the new rappers. They is really beefing. Yeah, like that. And I love how everything. And all of them go. That's what's so I crazy. I take Bub last night. Dub. That's my partner. That's my boy, man. My you boy. know that. I love him. You know what I'm man. saying? I love, I love everything. I love Kieran Claiborne. He was just here, yeah. Jeff that Shelley's, man. anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm a. You be at the, at the who, improv and stuff. Yeah, who, the, who, is, who is your most, like, out of all the ones you've actually seen or maybe seen on social media? My favorite comedian? Yeah. Mike Gibbs my favorite comedian. Mike Gibbs said they didn't mention, Cat didn't mention him when he was doing that damn. <laughs> listen, what you talking about? And he getting all that damn money, man. Mike Gibbs, stop Mike it. Is, hey, listen, Mike is backyard, penitentiary. <laughs> Um, eat top top drop the top. Mike is quick. <laughs> the, that the cause my, night, everything. family reunion, yeah. crazy. Yeah, Mike, man, listen, man, Mike is my favorite comedian of all, all time. time. Now I love. I got different types of comedians that I love. Now Bernie, that's a different level, man. Well, that's a different, that's the, that's different the, dog. That's in my, the fight top, my boy. Top, top. Top. I call him Black. Black, my top. top. <laughs> okay, Black. top three comedians of all time. Oh, you gonna get it right there? Yes. yes. Black off the top. Okay. <laughs> Burn him Don't back. play with black. Mike Epps is one Number of my... And I, let, let me tell you so. Now, let me tell you. I like white comedy, too. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I got yeah. a couple white favorites. Yeah. Like Adam Sandler, yeah, one yeah, of my yeah, favorites. I love, See, I, I ain't in the games. No, in no. Certain thing, in certain things. Only I, three. Name three. <laughs> now, me, I'm going to take Adam Sandler out because he just... <laughs> because I got to have all three of my people. So I'm going to go... <sighs> Black for sure. You said Bernie Mac right. <laughs> Black, said Bur- Mike Epps, and um, Who's this number three, and um, Tyler Perry. Tyler, Tyler Perry. Perry. Now, see, I got a narrative about Tyler Perry. Before I go, okay. I'm very. I'm gonna say this. I know somebody who say that Tyler Perry only the movies that he make is not really great for men, so to say. Okay, I got a narrative for all that. <sighs> yeah, it I, showed black men in a in a. Sometimes that, did y'all yeah. see? Did yeah, y'all see? I, did, I see. I heard you. Uh, did y'all see Maxine Baby? No. That's what I'm saying. That's the when movie. You get, yeah, that's that's Tyler's story. Maxine Baby. Maxine Baby. That's his story. Yes. I'm going. Wow. How long ago that came out? I, it's on Prime. I need to find that. I tell everybody that give me the Tyler narrative. Talk to me after Maxine Baby. I gotta okay. watch because this I'm is how I feel. You. I'm down with what Cat talking about. It's how I closed up. I'm down with cat. So saying. you was cool with the cat with the cat Not women. everything. Yeah, because he cut <laughs> up on there. He- now I'm down with hey listen, I'm I, I love cat. I'm not saying, but I this is my thing. 
the 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 the, the dress thing that we going through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I had Ari Spears on there. He 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 justified the fact that a lot of comedians were in dresses. Okay, I got a different perspective on, it. including Tyler Perry. Okay, I'm not knocking nothing. I'm a street cat. I understand everywhere we coming from, but one of the things that make they ain't pay, they ain't give Tyler fifty to get that dress. Tyler put that dress on with nothing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Not a dollar. Mm-hmm. That's real. I ain't Tyler, that. Tyler put that dress on and ain't nobody in the crowd. Just, just at a place. Dress. Tyler put that dress on by accident by somebody supposed to put that dress on and they didn't show up. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, wow. watch this Maxine baby. Tyler on this road doing his plays, man. Tyler for that's the only thing. I the the narrative that hurts me is when they say in order for him to cross over. They got to get that 50 million. They got to put the dress on. That's what they say. So what hurts me in that narrative is, man, I don't think Tyler took 50 million to put the dress on. Now, I understand if y'all feel like that's the only. I'm a great Tyler Perry fan. I think he make great moves. But this is my narrative about the whole dress thing. Al, going to be mad when I. <laughs> Boy, he begged me not to say this here. And I'm going to say it. He begged me. He begged me not to say And I'm going to. I'm going to hurt some feelings with this here. A lot of people going to be mad at me about this, but I really feel like this. One of our biggest things in the black community that we messed up right now is about the dress, you know, if you're gay or if you're a snitch. You know, we're having a hell of a snitch run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paperwork. Yeah. Bad, bad paperwork we, party. We on a snitch run. <laughs> so I, I, I respect I'm from the street, so this is what killed me. We got cousins, partners, uncles, friends that... You know, get in a little trouble, do whatever they got to do, and they come home. And guess what we do? We accept them. We have mm-hmm. to. They family. Well, now we're in a new world. <laughs> now, now we're in a new world. They start back hustling. Mm, and yeah. guess what we call them? Big bro. What up, big bro? He, 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 you might be older than him. You call it him big, big bro. bro. They go down there. They do what they do. Same thing with this here. We got men who go to jail and, you know. They come home with funny stories and we accept these people, man, back in our lives. You know, he might have did a little something funny down that we heard. Uh-huh. And when he got home, hey, his chest stuck out. He got another girlfriend and we accepting him. Yeah. Man, how can we accept these people, man, back in our life and, and keep it real with them and say it's a hundred with them and then turn around and tell Tyler and them they got the dress on? Mm. That's real. That's real. That I mean, you gotta you gotta we, be real we gonna, about it. We gonna we gonna we gonna no, con- I agree. We gonna condemn Tyler and them. We gonna condemn all the men. So, so now, if it's a narrative that that's what they doing, I'm with it. But we're gonna condemn them to the floor. He's a he's a he's a faggot. He wearing a dress. He doing his hip. But we got confirmation on some of our own people, and we accept them. With no problem. It got to be the same across the board. Is what you got to keep it on it. And the, the actors are only doing it for our amusement. Now you mean to tell me that this man ain't never helped you, done nothing on you, snitched on your cousin, everything? We're gonna accept him back, and then we're gonna condemn Kevin Hart for getting him four hundred and fifty million. He doing white coming. He's they say he kissed the white folks ass. Well, this man here, these people finna get out. They not gonna contribute. Uh, Quarter back to the culture, but you said he and kissed he the white folks and he done made twenty more millionaires. Uh-huh. Five of his partners, three, mm-hmm. four people that work at the thing, but we gonna condemn him because we saying, oh, he under the white agenda. Well, homie, and them coming home and we calling them big bro. No, that's mm-hmm. that's some real talk. That's real talk. We that's calling them big bro when they get home. Hey man, they can come home from doing something we'll far. Party with them. Get what we'll do. We'll take them out shoulder to shoulder the next day. Mm. And I'm not knocking it. So when we play an eclipse, I love I I got the I love these same people just like you love. But it's hard for me to accept these people right here, accept them back in my life, understand what's going on, know that this culture and this is and then turn around and tell Tyler, I ain't messing with you, man, you wearing that dress. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Wow. Hey man, I got a list. I show people a list. Hey man, I seen Robert De Niro. Dwayne Johnson, Clive Owen. I'm talking about um who else they had on there? Um Clooney. Mm-hmm. Big list. 500 million, 700 Clooney's them. You know Tyler sitting at that top with that B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no. bigger than comedy. For sure. And guess who was number eleven? Oh. Kevin. 
Wow. Wow. At 450. Mm. Why are we so big on their agenda, but we got. <laughs> They not worried about us. They not even. <laughs> they not worried about us. So, so my whole they thing. Be. My whole thing is the only thing that I didn't like about the Cat in Williams interview because I loved it. I love Uncle Shay, but the only thing that I didn't like about it, hey man, we just went on a three week killing spree of us, blacks. We snitches. We fraud. Hey man, we we. Hey man, I just. Hey man, I was telling people I can't. Ain't no way. Robert Nero gonna do Clooney like that. Mm-hmm. Ain't no way Al Pacino gonna do such shit like that. Get up there and just, and we were just wrapped as a community and as a culture, man, we were super wrapped up in that thing. Our biggest thing for us right now in the culture is who gay and who a snitch. Yeah. That's our biggest yeah. thing. But the thing you gotta realize, man, that, that thing went crazy. Everybody started watching it. I don't know if it was Cat's tone. It was something that made everybody in a mom. The things he was talking about. 50, they probably had 54 million now. To be Did you like, watch the whole thing? Because some people the, said they couldn't watch, watch the whole thing. I watched, I, I watched it. I watched, let me tell you something. I watched the whole thing. Me too. Because I thought, you know, my whole thing was, you know, I, 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 think, I think it was a little bit of both. What I mean is, it's some truth to it. You know, it's some exposing to it. But at the same time, his tone of voice watch this here. Cat is a master craftsman. So it wasn't all in genuine flow. It's something put together. I got this in mind. I'm a master craftsman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know exactly what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, he plotted all of that before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? On. Like, I just so so for me, I think I, I looked it on both ways. I felt like it was great to hear it's great content. And at the same time, we took a L. Yeah, because of the way the culture was looked at. The culture, listen, man, we went on a spree of, hey, man, let me tell you something, man. Just imagine, man, imagine being all them. And listen, man, people don't understand that it don't matter how much money you get, how big you become sometimes as a celebrity, we still human. So what I mean by that, we see who's skinning and grinning. When you grin, you in, we saw you. So... Some of y'all gonna have to walk back down some of these roads, man. That's why, let me tell you something, man. We got dilemmas going on in the city right now. And I tell people all the time, I may have a stiff opinion, but I'm not attaching my name and my comment to certain type of things mm-hmm. based on who I am. Now, I may have an outside conversation to it because I know across that screen what my like and what my comment means to that. And, and let me tell you something. Y'all think that these celebrities are all tough. They got soft skin, man. They got thin skin. A lot of them, you know, we, as far as many millions as you said, pay attention to them. So some of them likes and comments, they saw you. No, they definitely mm-hmm. see you, and they called me, so I know they see they you. They saw you. And they guess call, what? You know what I'm saying? They called my phone. And guess what? Hey, man, man you get my you, number. You never know what room that you trying to get yeah. in that they are already somebody in that room. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about yeah. it. They are already somebody in that room. Yeah. And people would do this word that we told, that we all know from the streets. People are holding nuts. Mm-hmm. No, for mm-hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? People are holding nuts. So my whole thing is the maturity of me, I watch myself, what I attach my name and my comment to. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, and, hey, no different than, we got Megan and Nikki going. I was going to ask you about, about that. And, about I really, that and, and, and because, I'm going to be real with you. I'm a Nikki fan, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I, the way she rap, you can go back. I can't deny it because of the way I've done the show. I always talk highly about her, but I'm a Megan fan too. I'm, I'm listen. I'm, I'm be real, and I'm still both of them fan. Mm-hmm. I really, tr- you know how I'm about Pimp C. When the Bun B Pimp C thing came out mm-hmm. and the talking, the way we talk or whatever, and everybody was against. They, a lot of people say she didn't mean nothing about it. No, don't mention. Don't mention, Don't mention the bun. name. At do all. not do that at all. I can't deal with that, man. People be having. People, and I love them. People don't be understanding the game sometimes. Like, let, let me tell you something. Imagine this. I know you're going to say so I, I have one question, too, with that. And you can incorporate it into okay. what you're saying. Is it true that beef have to come with rap? I'm going to tell you something. I never made a diss track. I, I know. Never. I'm gonna make you come up on your own. I swear I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I'm not saying it ain't good for the game. 
I'm just a per. I just never made a diss track. I know. So that's my answer to it. I I don't okay. think that I, I never made a diss track. Have I been diss? Of course. Never made a diss track. I'm still. Hey man, listen. I'm still here because I, I, I that's why I tell people about siding. Let me tell you what's a fool about siding. When they get back together, and they will, which the game is gonna allow. When they make peace, and this is good. I'm gonna leave you over there. Yeah, we made peace, not me and you, because that wasn't your business. You know what I'm saying? So, I was about to say, what well, on your side, what I was about to say is sometimes make realistic sense, which is this here. Hey, man, all them in New York ain't happy with what Nikki doing, but they be damn. Mm hmm. Joe Budden be damn. Mm -hmm. They're not for the play with your body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, hey, when he step off the set, he might, hey, man, I, man that's good. But not on the set. Hmm, sound good, huh? hey. <laughs> exactly what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So for me, man, you think I'm going to get on a microphone, man, and never, it's not happening. <laughs> Man, I'm Texas in every way. Mm -hmm. For sure. Megan, man, dope Texas too. Texas in that. Hey, man, I tell people all the time. They all dope. Nah, but I tell people, hey, man, I had a conversation with somebody that was took something trying to, you know, me and this person close. And I, what I had to tell them, no, nah, I ain't shooting no slut. Nah, I don't think, do I think, I don't think none of them angels. They all got flaws. They all make mistakes. But I be damned like they be damned. <laughs> you go. You definitely. You know. You. In I ain't saying I'm gonna step out and slash or slender anyone. Anyone. But I damn sure ain't gonna do it on my side. Not at all. Not at all. And I ain't saying you gave me a quarter. You get. I ain't gave, made a dollar with you. Uh -uh. I just. Uh, man, listen, man, listen. When I didn't have nothing else, I had Texas. But Texas but, is real. Okay, but nothing. let me ask you. So when being a rapper entertainer. Do you ever take in consideration, I know you don't do beef, mm. or do you think that anybody who does do beef should take in consideration before you start doing stuff, think about your fans, because a lot of times when you start this stuff, your fans are taking it to the extreme, not you. Your mm. fans are, because I'm gonna go back again when I saw that um, article that talked about where Megan's mom is buried, Lying and how the, the, and how the yeah. cemetery have to um, amp up security because in fear of, you know, Nikki's fans trying to do something to her grave. I'm like, to take it to that extent, the fans are taking what y'all are doing. That's as great a beef. clickbait. Hell of a clickbait. So you don't see it real? So you don't see that nobody will take it that. that listen, man. I ain't right. going out there. I don't even go out there with that. Y'all do damn me. <laughs> that, man. I'm just, man, that's great clickbait, man. Listen, I'm man. not going that's no That's a pretty yours. picture online that's going to get a thousand comments, man. You know, I, I, hey, man, listen, man. If Listen. What you going over there to do? I'm not. You, you, what you going to post something? Man, I don't. Man, say. Man, stop playing. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, this internet got niggas doing stuff. No, but you have crazy fans out there. I don't know. I just. I'm not driving out there, period. So, I you think, know, I think, my people never I go think, that far. I think, I think, man, that. I think that the fans do. do. Let me tell you something. The fans do make it worse because now you can throw rocks and hide your hand. Mm -hmm. You can say whatever and 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 not ever get seen, you know, or not ever be going out you know, there. Today. Everything you say don't ain't no equal to a punch in the mouth like it used to. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, fans can make it work. I'm going up there. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I, 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 I burn it up today. <laughs> Man, you ain't gonna do nothing. You know what no. I'm saying? So my whole thing is, I think that that the, if the internet. Love the hey man. Let me tell you something. I be telling, I be telling these bloggers and everything. I be like, man, listen. When it get to the point, man, where you don't got no narratives, they at the grave. Come on, man. Y'all gotta find <laughs> something else to talk. <laughs> I got it. I got one. I don't know. Is you gonna stay on that? I yeah, call no, it running out of narrative. We move it's forward. Current topics. Okay. As, as okay. As, cool. Okay. So I know you were young Damn. once. Yeah. You need okay. Get, you were young once, so let me ask you this question. Okay. It's the Krishan Rock and Blueface situation. Okay, we already know all the situation that she had before, and I've seen on posts to say that, you know, for her to get out of that situation that she was in before, you know, she prayed to God, you know, get her away from the situation, blah, blah, blah. She got away from the situation, she had her baby, all of that. And all of a sudden now, 
she has that tattoo on her face and she's back at his house. And all I can think of is, you know, so many domestic violence um, women out here who are going through situation. Or you have these young kids who are watching her, who um, boyfriend beating on them, whatever. And some people, you know, we all the people are like, don't take the internet serious. But some of these young people are taking the internet serious and looking at these people as role models and be like, well, she do it. So I can stay here and, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, man. Do anybody got an Instagram number <laughs> or Meta, Facebook? I want to call them. And when they answer, hello, yeah, this Kiki. I want them off my timeline now. I, I don't, I, I, hey, I leave everything else on there. I don't care. I want them off of there. <laughs> Today. That's real. I'm just, because <laughs> man, much. I, man, I never, let listen, <laughs> man. I ain't never seen no shit like this here in my life, <laughs> man. man. This somebody baby, oh, this is a baby, man. I don't know, man. Listen, I don't have no answers to that, man. That is so. That's <laughs> so far. I, I can't. And they take it to the extreme. She now has a child and, you know, she wants to do <laughs> all of wow. it, you know, to protect this child. But then you gone back in that situation. And I was reading down the comments after she posted that. And, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, I'm unfollowing. I'm not going <laughs> to this. Done. Them done with her, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, they going to still be nosy and curious and all of that. We watching anyway. <laughs> I'm like you. I don't know what to say about it. I <laughs> want it all for that. I just can't. I can't. They call it. Oh, somebody my, got Instagram call, number. Who, what is yeah. this number? I want to just pick me. You can leave them for everybody else. Can I take it out? Man. Because at the end of the day, I'm like, man, it's sad. It's it's getting. Right. I be thinking about the, the parent. Like, what the. I know that somebody got the. It's somebody in that family. From a, a grandma, a, a auntie, you know, somebody they saying, Lord, Lord, just. All they're doing is praying. Because let me tell you something, man. These people 22, 20. I got, mm -hmm. Hey, listen. I got the, I got these kids. Me hey, listen, too. I choke you out. I can't. Man, and I'm not trying to play that I game. Can't, I choke you out. Hey, man, y'all, if, if y'all see that phone ringing, it's a collect call, collect call. Look, Kiki over there. Yeah, now. Pick up it. I didn't choke some <laughs> out. I got I you. I choked some out. And you were that. young once. But you didn't go through all of this. Let stuff. me tell you something. I was just telling people, you know, we t we had an advantage of young. We didn't have the internet. Like no, nah, this internet's different. We didn't, man, I just explained to somebody, my partner, going through something with with his girl, and, and he's an entertainer. He going through something with his girl, and I'm like, man, it's much different now. They they can watch you a little bit more. Yeah, bit. yeah. You know, they watch. Hey, man, when you left out as an entertainer, and I, hey, I'm going to the show. I'll be back. Mm. Boy, that in between from that from, from seven o'clock, ain't no telling what did happen. Nothing. Now they can trash it. It's you. all documented. You better see. You at the store. You can't do nothing. And, and let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. They watch. Hey, it go both ways. I ain't just blaming on the one. Cause the cause you got women entertainers and Instagram. They men getting on and they watching likes and yeah. seeing it. Man, this nigga on every post and. They looking at that nigga like hard eyes and all. Them women doing the same thing. Yeah. So, so that that freely walking out with your chest out, getting in the car, leaving. Hell no. Nah, they it's come with text, level. they come with text messages and calls and <laughs> where you at and I thought and I and my favorite one, I thought you said and Yeah. Yeah. So so it's just a different game. I just blame that. Hey man, listen. Either you in or you out. What I mean by that is if you in, you in. This shit come with consequences, repercussions, talk, drama, all that. If you out, you out. So my whole thing, it goes back to what I'm saying about dealing with this streaming and dealing with it. You don't got to do it. It's yeah, like yeah. gas. Hey, man, listen, man, this gas is too high. Don't get none. At all. Leave the car park right there. But if you want to hustle and you want to make that money, you're going to pay with it. It's the same thing with this game, man. If you want to deal with this streaming, if you want to deal with this content, you want to deal with this beef, you want to deal with it. It's a sacrifice you got to make, man. And me, I just adjust to every part of this game every time it changes. What, what about the 713 day? We got to move to that. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Joe Day down there. That's so dope, man. All of y'all, you know, y'all figured it out, man. They want to steal it from me now. Why? Why? Because I made that it. That whole hard dude, though. They, let me tell you that something. Hard, How can man? they do that? They want to steal it from me. <laughs> They just took it from me. <laughs> what they, they trying to do they with they it? stole it from me. They, let me tell you now. I love the city. They didn't know the M. Man, when they was giving out days, 
<laughs> I've won it. 713. 713. July 13th. And I'm telling you this. Man, this shit was nowhere near nothing like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, I'm not saying nobody never said it or thought, but not to the point of let's come outside. They all outside. <laughs> Texans, rockets. I can't control. It's over. <laughs> it, hey, every giant brand in our city got a Shellboard three day. <laughs> Dang. Now I got to try to get with them. I got to be a dog with them with what they doing. The Texans yeah, actually got one. They, doing, up, they got one that they doing for me this year, man. But man, that was my everything, man. This is right. because I, I chose that because, man, like you say, when I was trying to rap and I was doing that, when I couldn't get New York and I couldn't go to California, it was always by my city. Man, my city did everything for me. My city held me down and kept me feeding my family and kept me so, so, so. People was, people, that's how I got to the self-made thing because I was doing 713 day and 713. If you look on the back, it's still. Mm -hmm. It's there? 713. It's still. No matter what I do, it's that. You know what I'm saying? So, when I first got started, once this kind of got big, 713, I was like, I I don't want to be like New York. I mean, what I mean by that is, like, when I go get a New York shirt that I love New York, mm -hmm. I buy it, but I ain't going to be having it on in Texas all the time. So, when my fans, I don't know, like, what can I do? Because when I first started, I started with the 7-Eleven hoodie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 7-Eleven made me shut that thing yeah, down. <laughs> they not driving. I had, I had a hell of a run. <laughs> I had a beautiful run. I had a he, beautiful he, you run. Had go with it. Boy, they shut me down. <laughs> you know, they called me. Hey, look at you gonna That's take it down. Yeah. So it was getting so big. I was like, what else can I do? And self-made people are always talking about. I ain't self-made. Uh, uh, uh. The Lord. I'm not talking about that kind of self-made man. I'm a Lord. The Lord helped me too. Self-made meaning that. Hey man, before I can ask E to come to the podcast, before I can ask a promoter to do this here, before I can ask somebody to invest some money, before I can ask a producer to give me a beat, I took care of my business, what I need to do. I mm. put in my if I'm self-made. I went to work first. Not self-made like I did at all. I got beautiful people, beautiful team, beautiful sure. family that did a lot for me. But as far as having the wherewithal to get up and get it done, I'm self-made with that. I didn't wait on handouts and boost and kicks in the ass. I, I got my own self off the ground. So that's what I meant by self-made. So when I went self-made, that was to branch off to make sure, because I know self-made people and people who come from nothing. So that's how the second part of my brand, then the third part is the legend part. Man, the legend thing just took out so big because it was just legend, legend, Kiki the legend. And I start, I had to start asking myself, am I really the legend? Like they said. <laughs> Like they <laughs> but they love me like this. You so are the legend. That was on my three brands. Seven thirteen is the foundation. Is Houston. I never let it go. Self made is the appreciation that I have for the work that I've done, and the legend is the overall work that I've done. So self made seven thirteen. Is seven thirteen um, Houston area code or something? That's what yeah. it is. Okay. She from Jamaica, man. She did the same thing on your show. Remember? I, this, this, I, I can't remember. Listen, I can't remember. Listen, this was man. We started off with one of the biggest block parties ever. The bigger, it, it ain't gonna be one bigger than this still. What, the police couldn't even come down the street, the ambulance couldn't get down the street, the place that I done it at, they said I could never come back again. <laughs> the community, they said, cause driveways was blocked, cars couldn't come out. And this was the the birth of it. You need to man, buy your own Hey man, 10 years later? Man. Hey listen, you don't wanna come down, hey man, we finna do a 713 tour this year. Ooh, we taking the, the All Stars and the, we're gonna do a seven one three day experience and we taking it to three or four different cities. Wow. It didn't grew that big. Hey, 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 last year I had to have a foul out with it. I almost fell out with the red. Man, y'all taking it? <laughs> I just worked my ass off. They doing it. They, they, they trying to take listen, it a whole nother level. They so you. big. I can't do nothing. You can't hold them. Man, the right Texas right got it. The Astros <laughs> got it. I'm like, man, y'all ain't give me nothing. <laughs> but, but but as long as the fa and one thing about our city, and that's what I try to tell people. Listen, man, some of the shit y'all try to explain about our city in New York, hey, man, you can't tell us who the goats and all in it. We got to tell you. I done told mm -hmm. you now. We they got be to out, tell they you. be out of the town and da-da-da-da. Bro, hey, you see man, me. when you come here, I'm not trying we're going to tell it to you a different way. So it's the same thing with the 713 day. For as big as the company's about to make it, Man, they know who 713 is, man. Like, it's so funny. Come I was on. talking to my daughter earlier today, and she's at Brown University mm -hmm. in Rhode Island. And she was like, Mom, 
Do you believe some people up here don't even know who Pimp C is? <laughs> oh, like, no, that's crazy. Man. They yeah. never heard Pimp She know how I am before I, mean, I raised the right. It, it's crazy what? to her. What did she say? She didn't even know they ain't know Pimp no, was. Right, so she, she not named trying some to hear it. Man, let me tell you something. She's not trying to hear it. Let me tell you something. People always, somebody asked me that the other day about, man, how you feeling? Tonight? Listen, we've survived way longer than in it. most, our legends in our state and our city look, live, and survive much better than I think any other state that got legends. I heard Bon B say that and I concur, but let me tell you something. For all the accolades and the extra national Exposure that people think I should have and I don't get. I always tell my people, watch this. Here. I didn't miss no little league football games. Mm. I ain't missed no Christmas program. Man, I made millions of dollars, formed on some of the biggest stages in the world with some of the biggest artists and been to some of the biggest places from Japan to Spain to Maine. The real Maine, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever you think. Yeah. And ain't none of it bigger than. Wiping them boogers out their mm. nose. Mm. Ain't none of it bigger than my baby playing Martin Luther King at the Martin Luther King program. Hey, man, listen. I'm here right now. I was at the track meet two days ago. That's mm -hmm. all. Hey, I told my son, them, that's what I be hitting them with. My son played football. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I told him, man, you done had 150 games in your career. I seen 149. Mm -hmm. That's hard. All in both of them. Who at? Well, I'll kick me. Yeah, I changed them pampers, man. I ca I count all them programs. That's what it's all I about. I count all them football games. You know, I, t I picked up all them. I car seat. I did it. So, to have money, still be financially set, to have business and have everything going my way, if I got to trade in national exposure to still have my money and still be the father and the man and leader, I'll take that. Man. Yeah, because I enjoyed that post that you did the other day when you were talking to your son. <laughs> Look here, man. Show me that. Yeah. Watch them. These people know everything in the world, man. <laughs> Say, dog. Hey, these people know everything in the world. And this what I. This is one of my favorite lines to my kid. I don't get to hit him with it now because he's got a little older and it's passing up. But when he was fifteen, I used to like to tell him, "You know, I've been fifteen three times already." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, that's my favorite thing to tell you. When you're twenty, I love to say, "I already been twenty twice." Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to get nothing by me. Mm -hmm. But let me playing. tell you something. A lot of people, I had to tell somebody in that post. What's funny about that post was that was a content post. Mm. I was actually doing a post for my legend talk and I want to talk about advice versus help. Mm -hmm. Advice and help mm -hmm. is two different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Now, my son, he really had nothing to do with it. <laughs> he just happened to be in the kitchen Oh, you the perfect one to use this as But sit on down right here. You know what I'm so uh, people in the comments, they thinking like that you talking to him. He, he's sitting it. back. He not. He really don't give a damn because he ain't in it. In his mind, he thinking I ain't even asked for that tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I am like that. Listen, when you ask for my now, if you ask for some advice, I got plenty. What you want to hear? But boy, when you ask for my help, that come with repercussions, man. Mm, you know that come with consequences. You want some help? Oh, you want some help? You got to hear something. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying on my luck. I need to, hey, that's what it was, man. So I'm, I'm real deep. Me and my kids, I try to be. Mm -hmm. I try to be. A, that one in the black one. I love it. I try to be really. Bring me, bring me, bring me a hat. And not, then not with that, all of it. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling some of these out. I'm, I'm looking at these. I'm, we yeah, got yeah. it. My boy, he got me some things <laughs> down here. And, and give me a couple of hats. What's crazy is that everything that I just told you represent all that I yeah, just said. Yeah, you know the thing I, I look at is the quality. I be seeing you doing these. Uh, uh -huh. These you jump on Instagram and show me something. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get him for years now. <laughs> <laughs> but these hats, man, like the quality of them and the and, and the time that you put into them and just redesigning and developing your style all the time. Like how how much do you put into that and how do you go about? Knowing? I'm very hands on. I know, but I'm just saying. How do you come up with you just now? Nah, listen. They love us so much inside of that culture and everything that we do. I just kind of dig into that. I dig into that on every single part of the brand that I do. Like on the 713, I'm going to make you some Houston things that's going to be a little different. You know what I'm saying? Then on, on the self-made side, it's going to be a little bit more plain, just yeah. self-made. Mm -hmm. And then on the... On the legend side, you're gonna get screw tapes and different types of things. So I'm always thinking in that particular manner. And what I try to do, man, is um, um, I'm very, very hands-on. But I just let my son have it. 
Mm-hmm. I gave it to him. What you give to The merchandise. Oh, yeah? Oh, so he's Real? running it. He the man now. The one wow. I met over there. Yeah, he the man. He was getting prepared then. He didn't realize. Listen, he like doing it? it? He think he a boss Does he now. like doing it? He like the money. <laughs> he like the money. But I let him, man, listen. I, he um He's in school. It's his but last year. the quality year. is great, man. How did you go about picking the quality? Like the, 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 the manufacturing. Let me tell you something, that. man. I tell people doing that merch, this is a lot of work. A lot of time and a lot of disappointment. I started off not in the plastic, not with the stickers on it, not doing quality really. And let me tell you something about my fan. Get what, man? I used to be mailing people shit. This smelling like bacon and weed. <laughs> I didn't have the the weight on the shit. I used to be mailing people something and the 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 the, the, the packaging, the shipping say five dollars. That's what I think. Boy, I get it back two weeks later, packed with twenty three dollars. I ain't making a dollar. <laughs> So I took a lot of years. So uh-huh. what I do is try to, um, yeah, that's when I'm new suede. That old suede. That's when I'm new suede. So man. what I try to do, what I try to do is um, bring back my, like I say, I love my fans so much because they they very supportive. So when I do do hoodies and do different stuff, I try to bring back memories for them. Mm-hmm. You know, like legend screw tape, three screw tape. I see the screw. Fit. You see the tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that, that's actually that's, that's actually great. holding. That's a big word in our culture. Definitely, big, 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 still holding. But so you what, still got the tape. You got the H tag. So I spelled it out. H, the swing is the, the O. The street is the L. Yeah. The cassette is the D. The okay, R I was wondering what that was. And then the N. Hold. Oh, okay. And guess what? We made a gallon. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. but it's hard. This is our biggest one. This biggest year, one. This year, this year. See, cause when I saw it at first, I was like, what is... Hold I it. I couldn't understand what it was. Oh, I knew I what it was. Oh, I wait. get it now. I'm the slab king. We're talking about the... the, 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 the I'm the biggest car rapper. Yeah. It, down here. So, anything that I do that's related to a car and... And then I'm a neat freak. So I'm always matchy matchy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you see the blue hat, I'm mat yeah, holding. You're holding now. <laughs> so we we what, and, and let me tell you something about me. I'm like Chick-fil-A. I don't got number chicken. I don't got Yeah, keep where the backpacks in the <laughs> I got hats, t shirts, exactly. hoodies, and it's I'm making a killing. I, 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 I hate going, I tell my little partner now. He tell me, I'm finna do some merchandise. He tell me, he say, he say, man, I'm finna do some merchandise. I say, what you got? I got this wet, I got hoodies, I got the, the backpacks. I say, I take with him by three, four, what you got? Yeah, I still got everything. <laughs> <laughs> I say, bro, get you one thing. Exactly. Go that you it. think. I learned it, man, let me tell you, I do a lot of studying. Mm-hmm. Right from Instagram. Instagram is college. Mm-hmm. It's telling you everything you, you need to know. Instagram, take that, that's college. Hey, man, get you a text message, and when you seeing all the... Send yourself that stuff. That's what I do. I got a text mm-hmm. message full of it. It might be something you said, and I go back. Workouts, anything, and I go back to it. Take your own self, man. People don't do enough I do reading. I the same thing. They don't too. do enough reading. So for me, man, I um get you. I read that one time, man. Get you a product that works for you. One, like we got holding. This was our one for the year. Took it to the max. Ugh. Red, black, blue, white, black, black, whatever. Before you. I learned that, man, I used to have a self-made shirt. I used to get some self-made shirts, and I have 10 of them. Mm-hmm. Three of them selling. Mm-hmm. Wow. The other seven is, man, the merchandise game is a learning game. It's a learning game. So for everything that I try, I'm making such a killing on T-shirts, hoodies, and hats till I don't really got no. How often wow. do you change the design, though? I change the design every, as the, as the season changes. Okay. When we get ready to come in the spring, I'm going to try. I'm going to do okay. some spring stuff. Like, we finna come with some shorts and tops yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And then in the winter, I try to, even colors. Mm-hmm. Even colors, like from a color standpoint. Right. And let me tell you something. I, I miss, like, I try something now. Now, I'm, I'm from the hood. So I ain't doing nothing that I ain't going to get my money back. <laughs> you gonna recoup. Recoup. I'm going to get to recoup. Gonna recoup. Now, if we're going to make a mate, but you know what? My son ain't running around with them pistols. He ain't shooting nobody. He doing merchandise and going to That's college. That's a win already. Hey, man, my his mom called me one time, and she just was getting a little too scared. He was at that age. He running around, he out of college. I just gave it to him. Mm-hmm. The whole office, the building, the whole everything. Because now, it ain't just about, I'm going to watch you too. 
Mm -hmm. I can watch it. I can watch it. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, we ain't living in the time we put the kids <laughs> out at 18 no more. No. Mm -hmm. You got to watch no. him. You got to watch him. You know him. what I'm saying? So no. it's been a great experience to see him learning the game, getting a little better, doing what he's doing. You know, you Do know. you have quarterly meetings with him? Quark? Yeah, every 25 <laughs> minutes. Get off this phone right now. Yeah, yeah. Every 25. Because listen, he doing a bunch of. I'm a neat freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You doing? Man, I, I don't have nothing you doing. You out of bounds. Yeah, I don't got nothing that you're yeah. doing that I ain't watching. The emails, I still see them. I'm controlling the bread. Yeah, you watching him? I'm watching. You're them. supposed to. So I'm on. Hey man, you getting a few more complaints today <laughs> that I usually get, man. <laughs> that they didn't say Lord. They said ask your Lord. Yeah. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? So, but to know that, you know, hey man, listen, these youngsters. At his age, but they quick I was with a terror. Mm -hmm. But they quick with it on that internet and all that. They quick with it. Quick. And they can <laughs> take it to the next level. They he, he can find a loophole that he'll never know unless he's watching really close. Mm -hmm. And I try to, and, and let me say something. Because they own it. I got most of my employees, except for my, my drivers and my close people, these OG people, people who can pack pistols and shit. But my, most of the other people that work for me, youngsters. Yo. Mm -hmm. I want that mind. I want you. But they go. They work they that work they did it. What? And get what? I don't never try to make them seem unsmart. When they do something, grab it. Oh, that's why I'm telling you that. Boy, you cold. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. You know what I'm saying? So it, it worked both ways. I, are you going to, you and Power are going to do something together then? We got one. We done. I ain't so, heard nothing. We, he on the album? He yeah, he was on that. Oh, he was on that last one. He on the that one. That, yeah, he sure was. Let me tell you how I do. That, but that was a cipher. I'm talking about just y'all. You, you know, y'all talking about the deuce. Y'all, y'all. I got him on boys, here, nice. man. I got him on here. Let me tell you what I do, man. I'm the Texas soundtrack. I remember me being young, and I wanted to do a song with Pimp so bad. I want to <laughs> do a song with Face so bad. Lord, I just want to do it, please. So, me being who I am. I make sure that I get those opportunities. And let me tell you something. DJ Cho's, XO's, Chucky Trip, all them was on my albums before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I'll keep them on there. Hey, man, so what I be trying to do is, hey, man, before I go spend thirty or 40000 on somebody who ain't going to even post it, who ain't going to even give a damn, who's going to treat me like a lick, it's more better for me to get Slim and Bun and Pop. I got all them on the album. I got all the All-Stars. Once I get the All Star, cause we make good music, like on Can't Rain Forever, I got Slim, Paul, Ro, all that. That's hard. And then I come back and I get the youngsters. I got Maxo Cream. Yeah. Shout and out. I do all that and then I also reach out and I always find me OG. Last time I had B Legit. Yeah. Yeah. A Ball MJG. I seen that. I was real proud I of B Legit. B Legit, A Ball MJG. We got videos out of. So this time I went different. I went Project Pat. Ooh. Project Pat. Man, you can't tell me nothing. I got some budget. <laughs> Man, I called him. But see, eight ball and MJG. This is what I'm telling somebody. Man, when I get eight ball, man, dude, you can't tell me that. Man, man I got eight ball. Eight ball and MJG. Man, it's my favorite that what? I grew up on. Hey, man, hard. listen, man. Ball and when I was young, man, ball came to my highs and ate dinner. <laughs> what, what, what you say, you nigga outside? You let a nigga know, hey. Balling there, eating, I'm balling there, eating. I'm outside calling everybody. <laughs> man, ball is in here right now. Yeah. And yeah, get what? Get what? Until, nigga, they here. And to this day, get what? Cool. Wow. As a fan. I call him. I mean, okay, no album. I need a song. Get what? That song in it. <laughs> Next day. So that boy gonna get out. I just had him time. in a big clip of a thing that I just done. He right on that part. I pinned the part. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? So when I do music, to hear that jam with Slim and to hear that super jam with Paul and get facing, I'm way excited. And then I go outside the little box, man. So I'm always excited about me making some music because I'm going to get the youngsters. So I make the Texas soundtrack. When is that project coming out? You want the truth? Yeah, yeah, I want the truth, nigga. You, you <laughs> do I want the truth? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about doing something different this year. My birthday on the 29th of March. Mm -hmm. That's a Friday. We drop albums on Friday. I think I'm going to do it. That's gonna be mm -hmm. hard because I um I spent so much money for my birthday party and then I also spent a lot on I think I need to get all that out in one yeah 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 I'm gonna do birthday party so I'm gonna do a pool party at the house 
I just put in a new pool. Is Al D on there? He, of course. Come on, man. Al D on that hole, yeah. man. He on there. Who the hell on there? Where the shit up? Up? You're cutting off. Where in the shit think he's a rap game historian? 24 days. Set, hey, y'all still have them conversations, man, where man, he, this man gonna, here. He, he gonna argue you down. This man still talking to me about shit in the game. I've been through talking about that. I'm like, man, I don't even be thinking about all that no more. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, it's been going well, man. Just got a new home, about everything. Yeah, I'm coming. Home. You already invited me in. I'm coming through. Pool almost ready. We finna have a big man, pool party. You know, I'm coming to interview. You know, I'm coming down there to talk. I'm a cooker. Yeah, yeah cooker. And I eat. Yeah. I'm a cooker. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get on. Hey, hey, listen. What's your favorite dish to cook? <sighs> outside, you mean outside the box or inside the box? Both. Oh, inside the box tacos. Okay, outside the box. And ain't it just and my tacos ain't this just what you think? It just some brown meat scratch. It's up. Really? Now outside the box, I can do whatever. I can do some pressure. Cook. I can do some oxtails. I can do some baked check. I can do whatever. Mm-hmm. So you can cook, cook. Yeah, I can cook, cook. Why do you think the restaurant business and stuff down there be popping and niggas standing outside? Trill Burger was just one, but the the turkey leg hut, all this stuff, man, niggas standing outside. I ain't never seen that like Houston, man. We a big Sunday fun day city. We a big big vibe city, though. Yeah. Hey, man, you got them hookahs and them squares and them them, them girls with them asses and that. We in there. It's going down. It's going down. Hey, now you got the, hey, man, listen. I love to be outside. We we, we, we outside. I heard you about them cowboys, didn't it? I love the Texans though, so I was all right. Texans did good. Yeah, that Cowboys was hurt me. You had two. That's what I was saying. You 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 got both. My dad, things, my people. I went, My dad is the biggest cowboy mm-hmm. fan in the world. You know what I'm saying. And my dad, I tell people I was like, "Key, how you the, listen, man? My dad. First of all, my old man had me at fifty. Right, mm-hmm. I remember. Mm-hmm. That. Remember I told y'all that. Mm-hmm. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a one of them kind of babies. So my old man back in the game, older, 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 older cat. Well, before the Oilers played and all that, he had a place that he went to, man. They was working on the stadium 12 hours a day. Mm-hmm. Didn't let them get them tickets to that to them games. Hey, man, we ain't never watched no Houston sports in my house until I got grown. But let me tell you something. I'm all Texas now because the city's so lit. Mm-hmm. The city's so back together now, so that was a beautiful thing. So since you all Texas now, let me ask you, who young cat rapper are you watching in Texas right now coming up? Uh, who let's you think see. Gonna, who you think gonna be the next big thing? I, 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 I like them. I like different ones in different ways. Okay. I think Marcus me, Clay is a. I, I, Marcus Clay like a nephew to me. Okay. I had him sign, and I also I just down with him. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I do this here. If I do music with you, and we try to do something, and it don't go the way that I, or, I'm still rooting for you. Mm-hmm. Still my nephew, mm-hmm. so I think Marcus Clay is. We was gonna do something, but I think the situation that he's in is much because I'm. I was still so locked into what I do, mm-hmm. so I love him because he's a different type of animal. I'm going that way, and I still love the youngsters like, um, like I love Don Tolliver's, yeah, mm-hmm. OTB Fast Lanes. Even the now my favorite favorite is my little brother. That's DJ Cho. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. my. DJ chose a, but I talked to him the other day. He had me laughing. I can't talk to this Man, nigga on the phone. This nigga be having me laughing. We laugh. hours. God, he's funny. Yeah. We, talk, we talk for hours. <laughs> he like, E, FaceTime. You want me to tell you what he told me? When you come down there, if you come to Kiki's, make sure you come by mine. I'm show you something, too. I'm <laughs> he show you come I say, what? He yeah, come yeah, I'm going to go over Kiki's, but E, come see me. Yeah. I said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what? That's what we do. We do motivation. <laughs> hey, listen. He calls me 12 at night, 1 at night, 3 and whatever. Big bro, what you? Big bro, you got that pool over there. <laughs> <laughs> when he called me, we talk M's. We talk money. That's we talk real. growth. We talk it. We, we be, and listen, he on every album. That's that's dope. He got one right. Boy, listen, I steal everything he got. <laughs> These be his songs, actually. <laughs> Boy, he know not to let me hear that song. Like that phone lines in heaven. It, bad, 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 bad. Bad. So what you think about the um because I hear I hear a lot of people mentioning this name for the new kid that's coming up now, Four Bats. What you think about him? Have you heard of him? Where are you from? Here? He's from Dallas. He's, he, he got a song. He got, Kanye this, just mentioned him yeah, the yeah. other day when I'm seeing I'm, let me tell you something. These niggas coming up, man. I'm liking a lot. I'm I'm liking a few rappers yeah. down here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like I'm I, I be on it much as more than they think. You know what I'm saying? Much more than they think. But um Big X, he he definitely man, he showed hey, that listen, boy. That's listen. different. You know what I like about him? Mm-hmm. Um, confident, out the, he got his confidence out the roof. 
I think Big X confidence out the roof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I'm looking to see what else he gonna come out with because I'm the type of person, and I guess I, it's different for the, okay, for me being a consumer, I'm looking for you as the rapper come out with something back to back. Okay, I heard that now. I, I'm jamming that. Okay, now I need something else next month. I need something else next month. But I know that when I'm learning this industry, I learned that's not really how it goes. Y'all wait a while well, before well, you put the next one out. Well, I'll tell you this. It can go it can it can go both ways. Sometimes you have to let things mature, you know, work mm -hmm. with them, get the most out of what you can get out, and then at the other end, let me tell you, it's not how the game over quick. Mm -hmm. Hey man, let me tell you something. <sighs> Boy, you can drop some Jane where it's over March first. Boy, mm -hmm. listen. Boy, the 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 attention span of a that's why I do a heavy rollout, get it all out of them. And then work it, and then I'm really ready to move on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. I'm really yeah. ready to move on from a standpoint of how I'm doing it. Now, if I had a song and you dropping it and it's going gold or platinum, if you got a finesse two times, you got a big X. I think you should work that moment, like he's doing. Big X doing great. Mm -hmm. I think he should work his moment. But when you're doing a volume game, it's back to back. Mm -hmm. It's back to back. And and um, you got Mexican OT D baby. You some them, let me tell you working, I like, man. I, boy, listen. D baby, I be jamming some D baby. <laughs> Not for real, I be jamming some D baby. And Mexican OT kind of around our circle. I'm very yeah. happy for him. You know, yeah, G and yeah. B and Power Wall. Right. Yeah, around. I'm very, man. Listen, man. I'm so happy for Texas. Period. Getting our opportunity. I love when we do independent things, but then I also love when we catch those breaks. And man, that's why I tell you, man. DJ chose. Man, I did. He did went platinum on thick on his own. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Hey, this is me. You yep. know what I'm saying? So whenever you see in these different type of things, man, come on, man. I, I love it. I know the music thing, it goes around, it seems like, because it's always like the North had it here, and then now they say the South have it. Is it ever a time when both North and South popping, music-wise? East and West. East and West, and everybody? Is, yeah, is there I mean, ever right been a the time? South, to me, it's I don't see nothing. I can't see nothing else. That's, that's my problem. Like I said, I, my biggest argument with people was when they would talk about uh, the Chronic album. But you left out uh, Big Mike. It was the same years around the same time. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. Like you leave out the one, the big, the big albums that was in the South. You know what I'm saying? It'd been done like that forever. And you heard me. I mentioned you with Eminem. Niggas went tripping on that. I'm like, look, nigga, I don't see things the same way. Ald comment, man, you better, you better not be saying that. I said, I'm gonna say what I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> like I just, it, it's certain things, not not that particular, but just certain things I say. Like I might say I listen to Boosie more than I would listen to Jay Z, and niggas take it wrong. I don't care. That's just my feeling. That's how I feel about it. I'm down here. Hey man, I'm and I love somebody, everybody. Um, you know what I'm saying? I love everybody. But when you when you talk to camera, well, not talk, but when you hear stuff out of camera and them. And they be saying people like Big L is they goats. Yeah, and, yeah, and, that's right. That's and, right. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Man, listen, who y'all think the goat? Not, it'll, you'll be shocked if you come here. <laughs> that's tell right. you something totally that is so different. True. You know what I'm saying? They also, I'm, I'm like, I'm I'm on both sides of it. I'm an R&B nut. You Me know too. what I'm saying? I, I listen to that a lot. But I also, I got young kids. So all them Kevin Gates, Seti, Seti Hendricks, and 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 and, 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 Gunners and I'm on all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, listen, man, y'all get mad if y'all want to tell me whatever you're doing. Gunner jamming. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn. And I'm I, cause listen, I'm not trying to be his personal part. I don't know what his personal thing is that he got going. I know when I put that music out there, yeah, I that nigga good in my is. car. <laughs> I feel good in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Key, I, I can people get a hold of you, man. We hey, better listen, wind it down. Can't rain forever, man. Um, that title means so much. Based on the year I done had, based on just the timing in the game, it ain't just about the year I had, but about the everything. So y'all get ready. We're gonna do that um March 28th, Don Key 713. Everything, man. Just Lil Kiki. That's the that's the brand. If you type in Lil Kiki, you can get me anywhere from uh I'm TikToking and everything right now. Man, I just you, got you back. You TikToking? Man. <laughs> I was doing bad on TikTok. I'm talking about I would go for I would be having none of TikTok with my calls. So what? when I ain't working on <laughs> I had to find me another vibe. I'm like, man, let me get over here and say something. And it's starting to work back out. They snatched all our music off. Man, listen, man. I'm gonna be I, real. I went on that other day, I would hurt. They snatched it. <laughs> we'll be back. That's always happening. From a Spotify in that's a negotiated right. thing. Yeah. Now they say TikTok a little stiffer, but 
And mm. I, I didn't find out until I, I'm getting ready to get back, right? <laughs> so I'm over there, I'm looking at a couple of my video, they muted. I wouldn't think something wrong with my camera. <laughs> so I went to call and say, hey, what we what's going some? on? But before I called, I tried to put in a, I tried to replace the music mm -hmm. with some of something else. Because at first, man, most of the music that I started with on there was my classics, Bounce and Turn and Southside, because they was picking up the mm -hmm. most views. So when I seen the, the videos muted, I thought it was some don't mess with, well, you know, that's my baby. Yeah, yeah. Or if something wrong with that, I'm hurt. So when I seen, I said, before I call, let me just try to replace it. Man, I, I ain't got shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm like, man, where all my music? I call my people. He's like, man, we got shut down a couple they, days ago. They ain't playing. Boy, I still never mind. I'm still on that TikTok. That's the game. See, your first thing, you got some on that. Oh, Lord, the world over. Yeah, no, you got to get the it. The world ain't over, man. We're going to survive we that. We're going to figure out another else. way to do it. We're going to survive that. You That's know what I'm real. Saying? So, That's real, man. Like, I'm going to be real with you, man. This is an exciting move for me, man, having you at the shop. I hope we done you justice, oh, man. man this is you said we here, man. Yeah. Boss yeah. Talk 101, we in the building. Thank now you so I got, much. I got the Don Keita <laughs> been through here. I'm for the, I, this whole wall for the be pictures. I've been thinking about it while this whole white wall back here. I got the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it up like a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, man. I want to tell y'all. Um, I always say this before I close my interviews. Don't ever think, man, that this is a. I'm grateful, very appreciative to be able to come tell my story and talking about it. People are always looking like y'all to let this is no man. Anything above ground of somebody appreciating your craft of what you do and you still being celebrated, this is a blessing. So I'm always very appreciative of every call and every opportunity I get to tell my story. So thank y'all. Last time he ran off and went over to Carlos Nim next. Go see Carlos Nim. <laughs> go see, listen, let's go to 85 South. Go to Beehive. I want you to go all of these places now. I'm going to go. Let's make sure you get there because I'm going to call them. You know what I mean? I love all them. Go, I'm a go, but like man. I said, man, shout out to everybody that's doing their thing, man. And, and I'm gonna definitely, you know, I'm I'm coming to see you next. So okay. I'll be in Houston. Um, man, Houston has shown me so much love because of stuff like this right here. Mm -hmm. I look on my analytics, man. Houston love boss talk, man, and I love it, man. New Orleans, Chicago, love. It. I'm looking at my analytics, yeah, bro. and it's because of stuff like this, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. we are sitting down with the dopest people, and I'm in the South. It's dirty, man. Yeah. Check it, man. Boss talk 101, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk, but. I got you. I got you. I seen the look. Make okay. sure you guys get down here, man. Get down. And hey, the next clip that you're going to see, man, is about to be live, man. All of Don Key's clips is coming up right after this. Big salute. And let me tell you, if you love this clip that you just watched, man, this following clip, it going to have all the juice that you need to see. So make sure to tune in.